world records. And here they are live. The guys of Gossip Girl answer your questions. They're up next. The Gossip Girl is one of the most talked about and biggest new shows of the season, and it stars have managed to become superstars overnight. Tonight, two of them are here with me to answer your questions. They are live right here in the studio. Gossip Girl's resident heartthrobs, Chase Crawford and Ed Westwick. Welcome, guys. Hi. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Really, it's nice to have you here. Now, this show is hot. You guys are stars. You're just being thrust into the limelight. How has this changed your life since that show got on the air? Um, it's changed a bit in that, uh, you know, we're just having more fun with everything. And <laughs> well, you, are you recognized in the street? Do you, you know, have in New York, it's happened from time to time. Yeah. You know? A lot of time it's been uh, people coming to say, you know, I like the show, which is always a great thing to hear. You know, it means you're kind of doing a good job. It means Especially everyone's the adults, you know. It's nice to hear it from the, the older crowd. They really appreciate it. Really? It's really okay. It's a cult thing in New York. Yeah. Have you yeah. met any real Upper East Side girls? Come on. Yes. Um, you have. What? On set, they, you know, we shoot in the Upper East Side on location, yeah. and they're all surrounded, and, you know, mm -hmm. I love this kid right here. Come on, <laughs> come on. Um, yeah, well, like he says, you know, I mean, we've done some shooting around the Upper East Side, so uh, there's a lot of time yeah. people come over who are kind of from that demographic, so. Yeah, are you know. those uh, girls in real life anything like the characters on your show? Well, I, uh, I don't know, but, um, <laughs> yeah. you know, the characters on our show, it's quite a big uh, reputation to live up to. So oh, no kidding. If there yeah, is anyone out there like that, that? <laughs> well, if there's anyone out there like that, you know, right. phone him, we want to speak to you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Exactly right. Tonight, it's all about the fans, okay? So we went out to the streets of New York and also told many of you to log on to our website to ask Chase and Ed a question. Let's get right to it. First question comes from Manhattan. I'm from Harlem, and I want to know if Nate is single in real life. Yeah. Well... Uh, Nate, I think I think Nate might be at this point. I, I mean, I don't know if you know. I'm, I'm still trying to work on getting a dog and uh, like a Rottweiler. I don't know if a I'm Rottweiler. responsible enough for a dog, kind of, let alone a girl protection. at this point. So, um, oh, really, we'd heard maybe yeah. something a little different, but uh, at this point, you are not spoken for. Yeah, uh, no. Okay, what about you, sir? I, I have a girlfriend. She's somewhere in the studio. She is. She is. Yeah. Well, where is she? Yeah. She's hiding. Okay. Oh, well, hiding. okay. If we had Tommy, go. bring her up yeah. here. Yeah. No, but I, I'm I um, a very pretty girl over that there. That is mine. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. see, we're getting actual news here. Next question is for Ed. It's from Sabrina, who wrote into CW11.com. She asks, Ed, do you have the same carefree, live in the moment type of attitude <laughs> as your character Chuck? Um, to a certain extent, you know, I think um, I have to be a bit careful because um, unlike Mr. Bass, he, uh, you know, I don't have this astronomical wealth like, uh, <laughs> like he does. So, um, you know, he gets to run around and do what the hell he likes, really. So, um, well, come on, he's kind of a slime ball, if you don't mind my saying so. Yeah, well, he, he does come across <laughs> like that a little bit, you know. But a he's little not all that bad. He's not that bad. I think in, in the episode that aired tonight, people saw... Um, you know, a, a little bit of a different side, a more vulnerable side, someone who kind of um, had a bit of honesty about him, maybe. Okay, let's go back to the street for another question for Nate here. Hi, my name is Andre, and I'm from Brooklyn, and Chase, this question is for you. I want to know who's the best kisser on the show. <laughs> Ooh, that's a tough question. Come on. <laughs> you know, they haven't made it that awkward yet. Um... <laughs> You know, I Are would. Are you doing more of the kissing, or is Ed? I think Ed's doing <laughs> I think all Ed's the kissing. I think Ed's doing more of the kissing. I think Ed's doing more of the kissing. You just were kissing your bit. face I'm, uh, off. I mean, he hasn't got the kiss well, really I would say I'm the best. I would say I'm the best kisser. You're the, the yeah. best kisser. You know, I'd say okay. that kind of arrogant stance. Uh, what, about it. Why not? Good. What did your girlfriend say? That's what I want to know. <laughs> we'll say. <laughs> we'll get that right. later. We'll say about that, yeah. Okay. You know, there's so much kissing on that show. You must get sick of it. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> I can't Jeez. complain. We could yeah. be doing <laughs> chap lips once or twice. We could be, you know, yeah. rewiring hardware and things. But it's <laughs> Next <laughs> it's not, question, not Ed. <laughs> yes. This is for you. Gabby from Saddlebrook, New Jersey, wants to know, what do you look for in a woman? I'm 21 years old, college educated and single. Are you interested? I look for money. <laughs> I look for money. You know, someone can help me out and take me places. Yeah, besides you know, your cook me Let's dinner. Let's not forget that. Let's no. go over to the next question. It's from Nia of Brooklyn. She's asked, did you guys always want to be actors? If you weren't on TV, what jobs would you have? This is a two-parter. Let's start with you. 
Uh, I think I would be Maverick from Top Gun if I was an actor. <laughs> I would be, cool. be a Top Gun. Yeah. That's about it. And did you always want to be an actor? Uh, I didn't always want to be. It kind of sort of, you know, I fell into it a bit. So I went to Pepperdine, and then I uh, took cool. a semester off, fell into it, and uh, now here I am. Just fell into it, and you're only 22 years old. 22 years wow. old, you got it. How about you, Ed? Um, I guess, you know, it was one of those things that I um, kind of always had a flair for, I'd like to say. Um, it kind of not, not really fell into it. I was, you know, in and around it as a kid and kind of things like that. And then, uh, you know, it kind of happened naturally and organically in terms of work and things. But if you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? Um, I'd be Iceman from Top Gun. <laughs> yeah, there no, you go. I'd, um, oh, I'd probably be a, okay. I'd probably be a Okay, let's go now to our <laughs> very last question. Do we have a last question? Oh, no, we ran out of time. Wow. You guys were fun. You really were. Before we let you go there, oh, never mind about that. We don't have time even to ask you that. Now, fans, do not worry, it says here. If you didn't hear your question asked tonight, and you probably didn't because we got lots of you, got a lot of fans out there, go to our website at CW11.com where the guys answer some of the questions we didn't have time for. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Pleasure. Jim. All right, Cody, thank you guys.